Okay, so today is Thursday, and that of course means it is Dreamhangers time. So I have selected a comment from one of you guys. This one is coming from Cove, and it looks like we have a bit of a theme here. So uh, this one, Nerf bots fight back. Uh, all of these uh, bots and also the Titan have been nerfed in the past uh, pretty bad. So we're going to see how it actually performs uh, in the current meta. We've got the Ao Ming, uh, the Ao Jung, the Acho Kachi, Afian, Favnian, also the Hawk. And uh, as you can see in my lineup right now, we have the Ao Jung with the Avenger weapons. Uh, those aren't the Ultimate Avengers, the regular ones. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, we have the following uh, modules, uh, the Kestrel with the following pilot skills. Uh, one thing I noticed when I was looking at this lineup, you know, most of my bots are flying robots, uh, four of them in fact, so I'm not sure I'm going to hold down beacons uh, with this. Um, I think what's going to be even more interesting is uh, what's going to happen in the second half of the video when I go in and I start to really tweak things in order to optimize it. I won't be using any ultimate uh, weapons or anything like that though. Okay, so here are the uh, skills here for the Archer. And uh, next up, we have the Aphian with the Labrys. Really like the look of this. Okay, so those are the uh, skills. Uh, next up, we have the Favnia with the Scaddy. You know what? I think these weapons were buffed. Uh, so I think it might not do uh, too bad. Although with this one, we will be uh, you know, attempting to fly. I'm going to say attempt because... <laughs> there's a good chance this is going to go down really fast uh, that's why I said you know in the second half of this video I'm pretty sure uh, we're going to get some very different results when I go in and I start to tweak things now uh, typically with dream hangers what I do is I run the first couple of games uh, to spec and then I pick the best game which uh, really showcases uh, you know the lineup and then in the second half I go in and I start to optimize things that means going through the modules, uh, changing up the drones, possibly even the weapon setups in order to really push the boundaries. Now, the whole purpose of Dream Hangers is to help players out. Uh, there might be players out there who have, uh, say, the Hawk, and they're not sure, you know, which weapons to go for. Uh, this video is going to help you guys because you can see uh, which weapons I tend to favor and also how I uh, build my module configuration or perhaps, you know, which drone I use. Uh, by knowing these things, uh, you cut down on time and resources uh, that way, uh, you know, you have more to uh, spend on other builds out there uh, that you might be thinking of. Okay, so we have the Ao Ming. We've got Shadam and Kirasia. I'm not sure if this is actually going to work. Um, you know, I know even, you know, with these weapons on the Ultimate Ao Ming, um, I have tried it, by the way, and it <laughs> wasn't really that good. The Ultimate Ao Ming actually goes down very quickly. I think for the cost of uh, that uh, Ultimate Titan, I don't think it's worth it. Um, so I can only imagine <laughs> what's going to happen with this Ao Ming. Um, so we have that. Uh, we also have the uh, Paladin Mothership with the following turrets. And uh, yeah, with that said, I guess let's jump into game number one. I have to kind of figure out how I'm going to play this lineup. We have uh, so many flying bots for one. Uh, I wonder if I can lock this guy down here. Maybe get him down to his last stand. Nope. Yeah, when you have so many flying robots like this, it's really bad for, like, Beacon Rush. Uh, so that's why I'm not playing Beacon Rush. Um, but one of the reasons why it's so bad is because you can't really hold down beacons. Uh, you can't push beacons either. Ooh, that guy is taking on a lot of damage. Wow. Okay, we're going to see if we can maybe try to get this guy here. I did lock him down, but then he used his phase shift. Uh, so we're going to get him with the, uh, the Scaddy. There we go. I locked him down. He has to use his phase shift again. Let's get that guy. That guy kind of charged me up. Let's get this one. Yes! We got him. Guy up top. I'm going to actually land here and see if we can try to make use of the four weapons. 
all honesty, it actually did pretty decent. I was expecting far worse. Yeah, let's try the Afia next. I think the red team is going to push heavy on that left side. They're kind of all bunched up there. Okay, so this guy has... Uh, Trying to get him down to his last stand. Okay, so last stand has been triggered, but what is happening over here on this side? Let's try to get this guy. Yep, oh, flag. Oh, he's got phase shift on there too. There we go. I think I'm going to try to push the left side here. I'm really uh, dreading that uh, the Ming. <laughs> I don't really want to run that. So if I can stay alive in these bots for as long as possible, that would be ideal. Okay, so... Wait, are we down to four players already? Okay, wait. Five? You know what? I think I'm going to have to push their home. Because we can't get the center. And if you can't get the center, you have to push uh, other beacons. So I'm going to go across here. Maybe we can get it. I did lock that one player down. Although he's going to get that left side. He's down to his last stand though. Okay, so we got this. He will use his ability, but the thing is I have a Seeker drone on here. There we go, we got him. We almost have four beacons, this is good. He's now down to his last stand. Okay, we got him as well. I do see this one. I used my... I used my shield. Yes, we got him. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is not good, not good, not good. Oh, man. Eight seconds. I really want to go after that Newton. He's going to use the... Yep. And... No. <laughs> I used my ability. Whoa, that's actually doing a decent amount of damage to him. Maybe I can lock him down. Uh, I need to go into flight. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes. What on earth is this guy running? Is that two? He's got two ansels on that thing. You know what? We're actually doing pretty decent here. Let's use the Aljung next. Uh-oh. What do we have on this side? Um, okay. Let's maybe, uh... Can I lock this guy down, perhaps? Not expecting to do well here. We're going up against, um... Titans. Okay, um... Let me just reload. We're losing all our beacons. But you know what? Uh, the game is somewhat actually uh, close here. Let's get this guy. Ah, oh, come on. I did lock him down. 
But I can't... Man, those flames. He's just out of reach of it. Okay, so if I can change this beacon... The thing is, I am... <laughs> I have two uh, crises. One in front of me and one to my right. Let's try to see if we can get him. Well, we can't get him. We'll have to go after this guy. Okay, there we go. I think this one will get me, though. We can move this way. We can cut off that angle a bit. Oh, man, wait. Did I get him? I think I might have gotten him. Maybe. I'm not going to be able to get this guy because he still has his shield. No! Actually, wait. That's doing decent damage to him. I need to run. And we need beacons quickly here. Definitely not going to drop my Ao Ming over there. That's for sure. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go this way. That guy's going to get that beacon. I'm going to get this beacon over here. The thing is, we only have like two beacons. <laughs> Look at the beacon bar. This is very closest. If I can lock that guy down. And maybe get this guy, perhaps. My teammates can kind of help me here. I am not going to be able to get this beacon, I think. I mean, we have three beacons, but that's not going to be enough. We almost got that Aphian. Almost. Uh-oh. Oh, man. So close. You know what? In all honesty, I was expecting far worse. I think if I had brought out maybe my Archer, we probably would have won. Um, I could have pushed beacons a little bit more aggressively. Uh, but let's see how we did. Okay, so 5.4 million, 10 kills, 7 beacons. And this is how we stacked up. Okay, so I made quite a few changes. For the Aojung, I have Redeemers instead of the Avenger weapons. We have the following modules, uh, the Kestrel Drone. And I think I changed out uh, this skill over here for Wonder Worker. I believe I had a uh, Sharpshooter for the Avenger weapon. Uh, for the Archo, I didn't change anything here because I didn't run it. Uh, so this is going to be my opportunity to run uh, this particular build. Uh, we have the Aphian. I didn't change anything here, I believe. Surprisingly, I did really well with this. Um, so I'm going to keep things as is. Uh, for the Favnir, okay, a lot of changes to this Favnir. Uh, this Favnir is not uh, going to be one that flies. I'm going to use this as a tank because this lineup was really suffering. I had a lot of flying bots. And I couldn't defend beacons. Um, so we have the mace weapon on this Favnir. We have the following, uh, you know, configuration in terms of the modules. Uh, unstable conduit, you could use advanced repair. We have the Pascal, although you could use uh, armadillo, uh, you know, beak, a couple of other drones you can use. Um, also, we have the daredevil uh, on here with my uh, pilot. Uh, this is going to provide uh, a lot of damage output. Uh, but because I'm using daredevil, I can't use my flying ability. Okay, so I'm going to turn it into a tank. Uh, basically, uh, think of it as a Fenrir. Okay, so we have the Hawk uh, with the Decay and Blight. Um, I didn't really like the reload time of the Hell Skadi and the Snare weapons. Uh, they can do decent damage, but I just don't like uh, the reload. I prefer the reload of these weapons. Uh, we have the uh, Seeker Drone. I'm not sure if I had this. No, wait, I think I had Paralysis. Um, but we have the uh, Seeker Drone now uh, with the following skills. And uh, for the Alming, I didn't change anything because I didn't uh, run it. So I'm hoping to run it uh, in the second game. And uh, yeah, those are the skills. And yeah, with that said, I guess let's drop into the second game. And let's see how we do with this adjusted lineup. I'm going to see if I can maybe uh, get this beacon here. If I can try to lock some of them down. It's just about locking them down so I can get into a center Although, uh, what is this guy up to over here? Gonna knock his shield down. 
At least we got the center beacon. Now I have to figure out how I'm going to do this. There we go. First kill. That guy will drop in over here, I believe. Uh, you know what? We could also push uh, the other beacon on the other side. Where is this guy? I think the other team is on our spawn. In our area there, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah, you know what? I better get this beacon just in case. Actually, wait, hold on. If I can push this guy. He was kind of crossing, so I figured I might as well take that opportunity. Let's do that. We got a rampage. What is this guy in? I really want to go to the other side there and help my team out. Yeah, this guy is not going to survive very long. Harpies aren't, uh, aren't tanks. And when you get to Champion League, those bots, uh, you know, while they can do decent damage, they're just not suitable for, like, higher level play. These guys are on... This is funny, we have switched uh, sides. Okay, so we're going to move across here. Trying to get that Typhon. You know what? Let's actually move here. This is a really weird game. We've kind of rotated sides. They got their side back, and we're about to get our sides back, although we have a Luchador in our spawn here. Actually, not just one, two. Okay, so I'm going to try to get our home beacon back at least. This way, they can't drop in and reinforce. I might have to go in here and try to get more rust on these uh, luch luchers. Now let's try to deal with this guy. There we go. This one might kill me. We'll see. We took out one of their titans. That is at least a good thing. Although, this guy might end up killing me here. I don't know. Let me just use my ability. Yes! Guys, I just got that beacon. <laughs> we keep giving our beacons back. Well, I haven't even dropped in with my other bots yet. Okay, we got that guy. Now I need to hold this beacon down quickly. No, another loot! No! That's not what I wanted to see. Oh, jeez. I'm not sure if I'm going to survive this, guys. We only have four players left. For real? I'm still in my first bot. Apparently this is a nerfed hangar. And I'm still alive after almost five minutes. Nerfed, uh, not only a nerfed Archo, but nerfed weapons too. Okay, we're going to push here. We might be able to push this guy into the, um, into the gorge. Both of them, both of them, yes! <laughs> we did it! I'm trying to uh, rotate my abilities here. Oh, man. Holy Jesus. This is kind of a crazy game. Wait, what's over here? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Where's my team? We don't have any more bots here. 
And this is like, this is a very powerful build that I have. I mean, technically, this guy should have killed me. You know what? We almost killed him. Almost. Maybe with the... Uh, okay, we got the Ao Jung here. This might help a bit. Um, actually, wait. 4 vs 3. It's 4 vs 3. We can probably actually get this uh, beacon here. I'm just gonna... I don't want to go into flight because this guy will move around the corner and then he'll get me on my cooldown. Uh, so we're gonna get this beacon first. Okay, so you see how he used his ability? Now I use mine. There we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We gotta get another beacon here. Man, this game is actually a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. To be honest, I actually thought we were going to lose. After I saw them drop all their titans like that. We just need to get some beacons uh, to even up uh, the score a bit here. And uh, hopefully if I push like this, they kind of back away. This guy's taking a lot of damage. I'm not sure what's hitting him. Sounds like Basilisk or something. There we go. This guy's shield's going to be dropping. Let's get him. This one will use his ability, so he'll give up his beacon. Yeah, he also got off the beacon, which is not good. Okay, let's do that. Let's drop in over here with the Ming. Maybe I can get a couple of shots in with this. Ah, oh, come on! No! He's hiding on this side. Maybe I can get him over here. Man, what a game! <laughs> he has to decide whether he should stay on this side or go to the other side. <laughs> he might go off into the gorge. Oh, he did. He did. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a game, though. That Archo. Players told me that it was nerfed. Uh, well, you know, I've actually had multiple games like this, too. Uh, this isn't the only time. I had a game similar to this, I think, during a live stream recently. Um, so we ended up doing 7.7 uh, 7 million, uh, 13 kills, 8 beacons, and uh, we were down a player as well, and that's how we stacked up. And I have started with the Ao Jung, so let's see if we can try to get this to work here. This guy's taking on a decent amount of damage. Can we get him, though? Okay, we got a kill. Nice. My uh, mouse <laughs> did a crazy turn there. I'm wondering if I have to charge it up. Usually when uh, I see things like that happen, it means my mouse uh, needs to be charged up. Okay, there we go. We need to get this beacon over here. I did lock down that, uh, that Lynx. Let's try to get this guy. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna get this beacon. We gotta be careful of that side. Um, so far I'm really liking, uh, this build with the Redeemers. It seems to be working really well for me. Let's try to lock this guy down. We got a rampage. Just reload. Uh oh. Might as well shoot the Shen low. And we actually got a godlike with this. We got a godlike with an Ao Jung. <laughs> well, you know what? In all honesty, we're actually doing pretty decent. I mean, we're almost three minutes into the game. And I'm still in my Ao Jung. Hold that thought, though. 
This guy just came uh, charging in here. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can try to go in a flight, maybe lock him down, perhaps. Try to get some extra damage in there. This guy's right over here. <laughs> he could have killed me. Can I stay alive? I don't know. I'm trying to heal up. This Blitz might actually lose this fight. These Redeemers are pretty charged. So thank you very much to Ko for your dream hangup. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay for it. And to everyone else, if you would like a chance to be featured in a future dream hangers video, make sure to post your dream hangers in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. And until the next dream hangers video, I'll catch you guys later.